Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel uh, Intellectual Time. So, uh, as I promised, uh, uh, I'm now going to show you the second module of Oracle Source Suite installation. That is uh, the installing the main part that is the Oracle Source Suite 12C and also running the J developer. So, as I uh, previous day, as I said, uh, the total uh, installation process is uh, total three modules. Uh, first is the installing the JTK part, second is this one, the installing the Oracle SOA and third, third is the uh, creating the domains, uh, creating default domains and creating the standalone domains. So I will be showing today the second module, uh, the installation part of Oracle SOA, so that is the main part of this process. Okay, so, so let's get started. So before starting with the starting with the installation process, uh, the main one of the most important thing that uh, should be kept in mind is that Oracle SOA is only certified for 64-bit operating systems and not for 32-bit operating systems. Okay, so this is a very very important thing that uh, those computers which are running on 32-bit OS will not be supporting Oracle SOA suite. Okay. So, uh, so first step, as you can see in the document, uh, the first step will be to download it from the Oracle site. Okay, <clears throat> so just for downloading it, you can uh, uh, use this below link, uh, this link, this one, or also uh, rather you can just type uh, in the in the Google browser uh, so uh, twelve two one hundred four download, and the first link will uh, will uh, take you to the place where from where you can download the source suite yeah so uh, this is the page uh, oracle's uh, oracle page here you can see there are total uh, three things you can see here source suite b2b install and b2b document edited uh, for you guys uh, to install source suite you just need to download this one just this one okay just, just click on this download so as you can see uh the page has opened so from here you need to just check the license agreement but before that you need to select the platform uh for me it is a windows 64 bit machine so that should be microsoft this one 64 bit after doing that uh, you have to check it on the license agreement button here you can see in the from Oracle source to 2.4.0, uh, Oracle comes with the total package uh, source suit plus BPM plus Oracle B2B. Okay, but in the in the last uh, version that is the 2.2.1.3.0, uh, there was no con there was the package of BPM was not present in in this package. Okay, so uh, as we are not doing uh, BPM right now. So we will not be installing, we will not be downloading BPM. So I will only be downloading the first three zip, zip files. Okay, the first three. I will uh, uncheck the three because last three because these are the BPM part and the B2B part. Okay, and just click on download from here. As I have already downloaded here, downloaded, so I will not be downloading it again. Uh, if you find any difficulties in downloading, just do uh, do uh, do let me know in the comment section. I will just try to help you out. Uh, so, guys, uh, the files are downloaded. Uh, so, total three zip files we selected for the download process, and and once this is this are downloaded, you will be you need to just uh, extract the zip files to a location of your choice. And you will find well, three jar files inside those zip files. You need to just collect all those and keep it, keep them in the same directory in particular in your uh, particular location that can be any any location that may be your choice. Okay, so in my case, I have kept in this particular folder location D and after that software folder in that Oracle 12C downloads. So you can see these are the total three jar files FMW, SOA Quick Start, SOA Quick Start 2 and the SOA. These are the total three executable jar files that are downloaded from Oracle. Okay, so <clears throat> to run them, uh, we need to open the command prompt in the administrator mode. As you can see, and it's the step number three. So I have already opened that as an administrator. 
uh, for you just go to CMD and just go to this run as an administrator or you just can you can also right click on that and run as administrator that okay and uh, after that you need to go to the location where you have kept the jar files so yeah so I have already navigated to the place same place and once you are you are there you need to uh, execute this particular command uh, so uh, to give a little bit of uh, detail about this particular command uh, this command is actually uh, this is a java command java command it is actually extracting the jar files uh, that we have uh, downloaded uh, uh, it will this command will extract those uh, jar quick start so uh, if you know those jar files and will start the installer for us uh, the, this is a java home that we set uh, in the in the previous tutorial we have al already shown you guys and uh, key uh, how to uh, set the java home variable path okay so just copy this Just paste it over here and press enter. So the launcher is started, it is started extracting the installer. I think it will take some time, uh, so I don't want to make this video much lengthy. So I'll be pausing it here and I will be starting uh, once it is uh, open. Okay. So uh, the files are successfully extracted and as you can see the quick start installation uh, startup has come so there are total uh, st seven steps uh, in this installation process as you can see here so the go in the first step just go next in the second step uh, you can skip this auto updates definitely so in the third step you need to choose the oracle home this oracle home is a path where you'll be installing the oracle swa suit <clears throat> so this is the default path uh, if you want to give some other paths other directories you can also give that one as well so i am keeping it as it is so as i already said uh, the, uh, the swasuit is already installed in my PC but I, I will reinstall it for to show you guys how to do it properly okay so this view button uh, is used to show is whether there are uh, already installed uh, swasuits or not there in the in your PC on PC so <clears throat> uh, just go next checked whether the operating system is satisfied the conditions the java version is okay or not as you can see they both are all right so it is 100 percent and we can just click on the next so it also checks the installation location disk spaces other features okay so just go and read the installation so for this installation it will take some time so i am pausing the video for now uh, once it is uh, completed around 98 percent 100 percent then i will start it again so now the installation so now the installation is completed as you can see it is 100 percent so go to this next yeah so in the last step you can see uh, there is a option to start j developer if you finish the j developer will be started okay so i'm clicking on the finish button as you can see the j developer is being started it uh, actually takes uh, some time to load uh, uh, it may take around 4 to 5 minutes to be started so I am pausing it till then so as you can see the J developer is loaded 
it, it took around 5 to 6 minute time so after that uh, you have to choose the role as studio developer to access all the features of Geo developer then press ok then it will taking some more time to get loaded the last part let's wait for it so I am ending it here and in the next uh, video I will show you how to create the default domain and standalone domain also so for today uh, I am ending it here if you have any doubts and concerns please let me know or also let let and also let me know if you do need this document I, in these documents all the steps that I have sh shown you all the steps are documented here uh, in good fashion so so if you like the video please like do comments do know me your feedbacks your concerns also please share with your colleagues with your friends and please uh, sh subscribe my channel and thank you for now. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.